Hello and welcome to the fourth day of a spiritual reset. Coronavirus is going to be forever associated with the um, concept of obsessive cleansing and sanitizing. Think about it, it's actually a brilliant way the universe has sent us a reminder to incorporate one of the basic um, foremost principle of spirituality and of yogic uh, uh, practices as well called um, shocha or cleanliness. Um, but uh, let us first understand how we can take this ubiquitous um, uh, sanitizing obsession with cleansing and transform it into a spiritual uh, reset. For that, let us try to um, uh, distinguish and understand the difference between um, cleansing and purification. Now, cleansing is when we um, uh, scrub our outside, our uh, body and our environment outside. But when we take that um, concept of clean, um, cleansing inside, it becomes uh, gets transformed into purification in spiritual practices. And uh, um, uh, there are three kinds of purification, um, three levels of purification. One is at the level of the body, one is at the next one is at the level of the mind, and the third is at the level of the intellect. At the level of the body, we um, perform um, rituals, whether you know whether they are spiritual, religious, or even social um, rituals. Like um, you know, it could be um, uh, something like. Uh, taking bath, brushing our teeth, uh, cleansing our, um, you know, utensils, as, as simple as that. Or, you know, it could be a more religious where uh, we have uh, certain rules and regulations of our places of worship, how, what we wear, and whether we are, uh, take footwear inside, what kind of uh, clothes you can wear. And we try to, uh, uh, in most of these religious traditions, keep our... Uh, clothes and uh, food and everything related to the rituals uh, separate from what we do mindlessly in our everyday life, just to bring the concept of, of um, awareness into our um, external environment, that is rituals. When we take purification to the mind level, it, then it uh, comes in the form of chanting or japa, which is taking the, um, you know, uh, pure mantras or some sort of uh, prayers or affirmations and repeating them, um, uh, you know, for a long period of time to, uh, to help the mind, the uh, chatter of the mind, the settle down and, and in that way purify the mind. Finally, um, purification can be at the level of um, at the intellect where we uh, uh, do meditation to purify the intellect. It's, it's like, um, you know, uh, going and, um, you know, taking some time and, and sitting and closing your eyes and not making it very complicated. Uh, meditation is just sitting down and coming to terms with or, or becoming aware of the thousands of thoughts, 50 or 60,000 thoughts per uh, minute that is going through our mind and then just observing them, stepping back and making that distinction between the thoughts and the thinker. And then you can go back and to the director's chair and edit out the portions that do not help you um, rise spiritually or, or uh, you know, craft a life of your um, you know, highest uh, interest. So um, um, purification, but, but purification kind of looks different for each of us. Um, ha, immaterial though, where, however we uh, uh, try to purify ourselves, whichever form it takes, we um, uh, ultimately it starts with the intention of, um, of letting go or, or removing toxins and things that does not serve our deepest well-being and our highest interest. Now we have to uh, uh, take a moment and try to find out where are we storing or carrying these toxins? Is it our body that is um, becoming sluggish or, or uh, exhibiting some disease because of a poor diet? And then here, um, one of the basic principles Ayurveda is worth uh, reminding ourselves. In Ayurveda, it is believed that if you eat the right 
foods, you do not need medicine. And if you eat the wrong kind of food, no medicine can uh, help you or, or cure you. So bringing a little bit of uh, awareness to our um, eating habits would uh, help to purify the body. Maybe going on, uh, you know, these days it's very common to go, it's very, it has become very popular to do the intermittent dieting or even eating very basic foods. Maybe you're uh, storing uh, your toxins at the level of the mind. Are you carrying, is your mind carrying um, the heavy burden of, of uh, unforgiveness or, or even victimhood? Because if we do not let go of these uh, feelings, they are going to, um, these past wounds, or you know, I'd like to call these woundology, would come back to injure us and exhibit uh, as pains in different parts of the body. And, and you know, the one thing that uh, I would definitely like to share with you is that forgiveness is the most uh, narcissistic um, thing we can do for ourselves because, um, as Buddha said, if you do not forgive, then it's akin to drinking poison and, and hoping that your um, enemy will die. So you, uh, when you choose to forgive either a person or an event, you are releasing your energy from being invested in negative things and, and becoming available to go on your spiritual journey. A wonderful way to do that is um, confession. And um, you know you don't even have to confess to another human being. Take a piece of paper, sit down, meditate, see what floats up to your consciousness and awareness, write down the names of people or events or circumstances that your energy is uh, stuck in and you know just close it thank it for giving you awareness bringing you to where you are and a simple act of burning it in a you know with a, a candle or a, or a you know any kind of fire would tremendously help to release um, uh, toxins of the mind and then when you meditate, that's another way of, that is a great way of, of purifying your intellect because it would give you an insight into the beliefs the of what you think are right and wrong, good and bad that has tethered you to your current reality, to a, a, to a negative or a limited reality. And once you question those, uh, you know, uh, always and nevers and what you think is right and wrong, good and bad, you are actually um, uh, indulging in and, and purifying your um, intellect. So the next time you reach for that uh, bottle of soap or the sanitizer, remind yourself to spend a little time to go inwards and bring up the many negative, limiting, hurtful, resentful, frustrating thoughts and feelings that you have stored um, suppressed or repressed somewhere in your subconscious, let it float up and resolve to purify it. Either if it's if, if your body or your environment needs clear, clear, um, purifying, getting the cl clutter out of your house or your workspace is a wonderful way to purify because whatever is um, inside us gets reflected in our uh, external environment and vice versa, what is in the outside is a reflection of our inside. There may be our thoughts and our emotions are cluttered by uh, many a, a, a person has cleaned, uh, clean, um, you know, take, uh, given away, uh, cleaned up their closet and their workspace to find many uh, um, unpalatable um, situations just simply vanishing from their lives. So give it a, a try. And um, definitely, this is a great reminder, every time you reach for that sanitizer or soap, remind yourself to purify not only your body, but also purify your mind and your intellect. And until next time, take care, be safe, and thank you.